golden card back, by the way. For anybody thinking we're playing oh, yeah. actual silver players, you know? Like, so many times people actually <laughs> don't understand we're playing against literal top 1000 legend players. Sometimes even top 10 legend players. That golden card back, they don't give it just to anybody, guys. I can tell you that much. Okay, what are you thinking about this here hand? And this mm, here opponent? Full toss? Yeah, full toss. Ashron Garden is not really something you're gonna keep, especially with not a great hand already. If you already had a very good hand, like let's say uh, double splish splash and dragon golem in there, I can see that happening, but in most cases it's just a dosage. Well, this hand is also ass. Time loss proto drake and time loss proto drake. Fascinating stuff. Okay, well, hard pass. Next turn we might consider doing aquatic form for a potential splashy boy. Aquatic. Hi. I think so, like definitely not gonna usher on into Aquatic that, even though I guess it buffs quite a few. Let's wait a little, let's think a little. Um, if we actually do usher on into coin out the other thing, that is gonna buff four dragons. Next turn we could potentially consider coining out Desert Nest Matron, that's gonna be a 5-6 and we're gonna be able to drop the Amber Whelp at a 5-5 five five as well. Or we could just Amber Whelp next turn and the turn after drop both the good golem the dragons. Let's try that. Asheron Garden into Aquatic the Sunken. No, no coin, just Aquatic and grab the Sunken. Wow, there was that thing. Sunken and play it. It's a little bit risky, but I think we can uh, manage to win this game with the, with the just straight up early tempo instead of Dragon Golem tempo. Okay, he's setting up. So, uh, I'd say it's just Amber Whelp to the face. He might feel safe about it and uh, drop his 1-3 if he manages to kill this somehow in the meantime, like with the Discoverers. Probably won't, obviously, but still, it's something to think mm -hmm. about. Hearthstone is testing us, Vela. Hearthstone is testing us. We are no strangers to testing. Testicles do not elude us. We are very familiar with these nuts. If he doesn't put anything on the board, we can just double taunt it. It's gonna be a massive amount of stats. Just like the massive <laughs> shit this hand was. Okay, live the full life. He had to spend a good amount of face damage there, so that's not bad. Alright! That's gonna be cute. Okay, what do you think we're doing? Yeah, let's go, mm. forget. Yeah, then let's play the refresh and a bigger Exactly, home. yeah, exactly. Let's go ahead and tempo the shit out of him, because uh, he could be ready to pop off with a what's her face real soon. And these are gonna be nice and soaky. That's about it. Mriss, close enough. <laughs> How's it going, Sango 10? Hope you enjoyed them top 5 decks. I thought we'd see some uh, 
meta refresh for quite a while now, but things have been stagnant for so long. Like, even though the top five is like 10 days old now, it's still adequate as ever. I might do a refresh on it soon just because they might just leave shit like this till the mini set drops and that's gonna be two more weeks probably so don't want to leave you guys with a three week old top five meta report even though I know and most of the good players also know that not much has changed it just feels a bad feel uh, when uh, somebody doesn't update on that crap like even just saying shit's still the same is worth it for my YouTube followers and uh, yeah just let you guys know, things have not changed much. Yeah, this man uh, keeps on using uh, cheap stuff to deal with our crap, so that's not very great for him. What do you want to do here? Um. Yeah, I would yeah, definitely start off with the cactus, and if we get something... Nutty out of that, we might consider Astalor instead, but the time lost can yeah. also be a play. Cactus. Hmm. Another Astalor. Dirty Rat, though. Dirty Rat oh. makes a lot of sense. Dirty Rat can oh. be very disruptive for its uh, crap action. So okay. I think I'd try to Dirty Rat. So let's play Dirty Rat again. It's also a good amount of stats, so that's nice. Okay, it's not amazing, but still, that was... A step for him, a cheap step for him to keep on discovering yep. and cycling, so it is Astalor something to write home about. Ask the lore his face. face and go face, yeah. But I'm not slow. Our gift of the arcade enlightens us. <clears throat> we could have seen Dirty Rat, we could have seen the other thing, the cult neophyte, let's say. Uh, those both are pretty prepared. decent. I think I might do a mini set review historical. I'm gonna try and really go hard at this YouTube gig. This is our year, guys. We're gonna be making some moves. Making moves. It ain't gonna move itself. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> I've tried for it to move itself for so long. Sad. Okay, this is rough now. Finally, this man is doing something meaningful. <laughs> And I hope it will be successful this oh, year, sure. your plans. Oh, well, sure. Wouldn't have it any other way. Ready? Well, Alex is in the house, so that could be lethal in a couple of turns from now, but that's kind of a long way to go. Um, What do you think we do? This pipes to the good set and hero power his face. It's not bad. But I think the Spine Tail Drake is even better. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm only concerned about this man dropping both of his uh Naga's next turn because that way if uh, we don't have the two ways to deal with it, like Spine and Goldwing, that might be a problem. Okay, let's play okay. a four mana time loss proto Drake Taunt instead and hero power his face. I was leaning towards the Spine Tail Drake, but now that I think about it, if he does indeed double drop the one freeze, we definitely want to have two ways of uh, dealing with those. Even though it is going to cost us the coin. Uh, if we manage to deal with those two, that's basically all he has. Okay, seems like he's setting up for next turn. Oh, okay. Fun. Alrighty. Making moves. Yeah, let be amaze balls against the Warrior. Warrior is not a great matchup for us. Do you have something online and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, man. I I would love to to hear some of your work. A full I'd love toss. To hear it. Or yeah, that's a absolute garbage good. right there. Okay. Pretty good hand right there. As good as they get. This guy's a 40. Still probably Reno. Nice top deck. Let's whip out yep. the cactus. Cactus. Okay, what are you thinking about these? 
Uh, stereo to thumb past the hand. It's not bad. I think I like Adorn watch... as well. Watcher of the Sun yeah. also makes some sense, but. Yeah, but the totem is would better. Be better. Okay, let's hear it, DJ. Weave me some jam. Okay. What do you want to do here? Mm. Ramp? Yeah, Splish. let's do that then. Splish. Okay. Gotta get that mana to work with. That's about it. First. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Made an interesting deck. Do tell. Okay, what the fuck is this stuff? That garbage though. <laughs> mm. Cactus again? I'm down to see what's in there. Um, well, this hoarder helps us draw a bunch. Let's play him. Oh. Hoarder, play it also. Yeah, and face and face. Okay. Soon we might be considering even the Razor scale, just so he cannot coin out on turn 4 into a good 5 drop, like Sanitize, like... Uh... Okay, he uses the coin right now, so enough of that. But at least the uh, Razor Scale is actually bigger than his hammer, so we got that going. Okay, what do you want to do here? Uh, first, next. Check. Yeah, let's check the Aquatic. If we find the Summer Flower Child, that would be great. Yeah. We did. We did check. Let's do that okay. then. Whip it in the middle uh, and let's slap. Uh, the left middle. Somewhere. Technically, the right middle might be theoretically the better choice because the left is not gonna grow itself, whereas the right could with a mm. random generation from a cactus if we had one. We already <laughs> yeah. used them. Okay, well, that's gonna be a big ass board. The problem with that play though is single blaze storm fucks it up, so I'm not even sure we wanna be doing it. Turn 5 for him, he has a web. He's a 40 after all. <laughs> Odds of him actually having a blade storm 34. Uh, yeah. Turn 4 going into turn 5 for him. Could have we Brawl could, as well. Uh, we could try with uh, the town. I think I'd still the... try with a Dragon Golem here, see okay. what that do. Like, Dragon Golem into Dragon Golem, like the second one probably is gonna stick. Let's try that then. Okay. Yep. Had it. Sad. Problem is, next turn we won't be able to make a weird board for him either, so that's kind of rough. Oof, that burns. How about the Razor <laughs> Scale plus the Time Loss Proto Drake? Both of them are the left side though. Yeah, both of those. Let's try that then. Razor scale. Yeah, and time times lost. on the left. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds interesting, DJ. But it does have plenty more spells in that one, so it's gonna be rough for you to actually pull the rock and roll, I guess. I'd assume. What story will you give my work? Okay, that's mildly annoying. Some buff. Alrighty, that's a cute ass Fey. That's actually very nice because right now Fey can trade herself into a 9 5, but no, if you do that, 
it doesn't even kill her. Uh, kill the 9-5 so he can make the trade himself and... No, that's not doing anything Play... in both cases. Play the totem and uh, dragon golem. Then protect Yeah, let's again. try it like that, sure. If okay. he has a bash, that would suck, but let's see. He could also have the brawler or just brawl. All around bad matchup for us, obviously, but giving it a good old try. <clears throat> yeah, you can throw it in the Discord if you like, DJ, in the deck section. Okay, that's as good as we could have hoped. <laughs> Left with three idiots. Two idiots. Sad, sad. Strength look mighty rough. Let's start off with a Mulgam on a Dragon Golem, see if we can discover another Dragon Golem. Or something meaningful. Yes, we can. Okay, Dragon Golem it is then. You can whip out the Asheron Garden now, and that's why we waited, so we can actually see something good out of it. And, um... Are we dealing with the Titan? Kinda want to. But we kind of can't. Well, we kind of can with Faye. Yeah. Yeah. Faye plus Spinetail Drake killed the 910. Okay. Faye and Spinetail Drake. And I'd hero say we power. go face. Uh, yeah, face with the minions hero power of 4 1. You should have started with the hero power though, because uh, we. Leaked healing. Not that it's gonna matter as much, but it's an obvious misplay still. Mm. First, excavate for him. Second excavate, so now his brawler is ready if he has it. Still hasn't played a second copy of a card, so he might be straight up Reno. Some lists do run some copies. Can't mm. kill the fight with the well. Yeah, I guess you can do that with the hero power as well. And uh, don't. Wait, what the hell? The idea was to kill the 2 4 with the free damage. Can't oh. do it with the taunt in your face. I guess it's kind of the same deal, but uh, I was more thinking about trading the amalgam in there instead. Well, uh, you can just go face with these. Should we drop the time lost? If he brawls, then not. Will he brawl though? I think you drop it on the far right. <coughs> Hopefully he doesn't brawl though, like he had a lot of good removal already. Or just sanitize. That's enough. 
Oh, now's the five mana. Five damage, that is. We're left with some stuff. Okay, that was pretty miserable spread for him. Still good enough, I'd say. Okay, we're pushing some stuff. Let's try the aquatic here. Take to the sky gives us the biggest amount of draw. The biggest amount of tempo is gonna give us a big dragon golem. Kinda felt like he didn't have a great removal there. He could just be baiting us though, but uh, I think I like the dragon golem. Uh, take to the skies that is. So grab the take to the skies, play it. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2 2 can trade into his 2 2. And you can drop the Dragon Golems here. The good news is they're different health totals. Bad news is Brawl doesn't care about that. Shit. Well, they're awkward health totals. There is a world where some of these live. Go. Wow, random. Could have been on his shit. Okay, at least leaves us with one, but damn, that was lucky. Didn't rush? Are you drugs? Okay, thanks. Again, let's start off with Amalgam. Okay. So, Spot Dragon sounds like a good idea to me. Let's play the one mana Ashron Garden. Mm -hmm. And play Desert Nest Matron on the far right. Desert Nest Matron on the right. A liver Spot Dragon kills Yogg. Put it in the middle. Uh, which one? A liver Spot Dragon. The one that can actually kill something. Sunspot. Sunspot, okay. Kill the Yogg with it and go face with the Resticle. Okay. Don't make jokes while coaching. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's probably gonna go for a cheap, cheaper weapon. Maybe a 5, maybe a 1 even if... I mean, he hasn't played Odin yet, so I think he's gonna go for a 5. I don't think he has... Uh, any fantasies about us leaving him uh, equipping a 10 mana weapon there. Because if he does, he might be fucked up. Yeah... There he goes with the cheap one. No win fury at least. He's gonna have to take it like a man there if he wants to kill the fiver. And we have Alex for his mouth. Fuck. That is a very large Alex though, so that's nice. Okay, how many dragons are left? Not many. We still have three more, including one Amber Whelp, so that's a little bit of damage. But uh, ain't nobody got time for that right now. Uh... It's gonna have to be an Alex to the face, right? Yeah, Alex on the... Doesn't matter where. Middle, right, whatever. His face and face, face. Yeah, yeah face and face. The new fragrance for men. He's almost dead, but it's a warrior after all. He could top deck you know who. Uh, rhymes with Fino. <laughs> okay, so next turn we have four damage from hand potentially if take to the skies give us uh, Amber Whelp, and it should. Astlor is deep at the bottom, we know that much. We don't have any other ways of pulling it. Gets a free mana discover, that could give him free mana 3 7 taunt. That would be rough, especially if he hero powers and he will be able to. 
Does he have another Blast Charge? He did actually play copies of cards, Stone Skin Armor and Bellowing Flames. Yeah, but they were on Discord. No, they weren't. They weren't? Bellowing Flames ah, and Stone true. Skin Armor. True, true, true. He also tradable heavy plate. Okay, as long as the game doesn't fuck with us. Nice tab deck, bro. As long as the game doesn't fuck with us and denies us the amber well. There you go. Easy! Counter this, you filthy casual! Let's do that then. Okay, short break. Ready. Neato. Okay, let's get a little bit of that break action indeed. Back. Shall we dance? I don't know, shall we? What are you thinking about this? <clears throat> Just. Technically, Take the Skies is not the worst card to keep. It's actually kinda on the upper half, and you basically have a turn 1 and turn 2. Problem is, it's not a Splish Splash, but odds of us getting a Splish Splash not that high. Yeah, let's just toss the Golem. Love this part. Not a bad mix, DJ, not gonna lie. Decent stuff. Okay, let's see the cactus. Maybe it's gonna be a splish splash. Who knows, guys? It ain't. It ain't. What are you thinking about these here nuts? Uh, the neophyte? Yeah, I think against the rogue, the neophyte is gonna do a lot of work for us, so let's try it out. Okay, Splish Splash, is that you? Close. Turn 2, we're not expecting him to be doing all that much. I'd rather save the Cult Neophyte for a turn where he can drop uh, Scorpion and whatnot. Let's just do silly hero power noises, shall we? The only downside is next turn if this uh, Take to the Skies or just a top deck gives you time loss. Proto Drake, we will be burning a top deck. Let's see a Splish Splash might emerge. Innervate, you say. It ain't doing much. Let's see the take to the skies. This guy's playing the cock package. Last time I checked, the cock package wasn't doing as good as the non cock. Okay, we found Dragon Golem. With this innervate, that's gonna help us coin it out on turn 6 at the latest. We can just go face. face. Actually, what, what was I talking about? We're at 8 cards. Guess we're never burning. Mildly annoying. I know. Okay, I guess he's gonna go for the poor man's excavation package. Yikes, not so cool now. Okay, so he has it for next turn. What are you thinking here? <clears throat> um. Uh, yeah, I think. What's that now? Legend. Can I? Right. 
Since next turn he can drop the Scorpion, I think it's time for us to start cog blocking him a little bit. I think it's a 4 mana Desert Nest Matron. Yeah. Uh, Cult Neophyte is killing his 1 1, obviously. Yeah. The one from the board. <clears throat> and uh, yes. yeah, if we drop the 2 mana Cult Neophyte, that's gonna prevent him from playing any random bullshit spells next turn. Technically, you can start off with Amalgam on the Dragon first, though. Okay. Grab Restraza for some bullshit potential and Cult Neophyte on the far right, that's about it. Okay, so yeah. now he can only drop <laughs> his uh, Scorpion, not much else. And next turn we can drop our uh, Razor Scale. And that's gonna prevent him from uh, playing his coin or his uh, Scorpion spells. At least they're gonna be expensive. Okay, doesn't, doesn't play the Scorpion even. Oh, that's annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Because now, even with the Razor Scale, he's gonna be able to trade it. Ooh, double Innervate. Say that then. Then? Uh, innervate, then. Innervate, Innervate, Let's Dragon do it. Mask. Yeah, Innervate a Golem. The left one, though. The bigger one. The one that ate his vegetables. <laughs> and go face, I guess. Don't you dare, random bullshit. Don't you dare. You can play up to a 6 drop. Shadow Word Ruin would be absolute bullshit, by the way. Brawl would be annoying, but Shadow Word Ruin literally clears our board and leaves his. I like this little folklore vibe at the back. Okay, this allows him to play even us. Eight drop. Yes, he ain't. Guess he's gonna have to be creative about it. Alrighty, good amount of slappage. Aquatic, you say? Let's do that then. Check it? Yeah. Ain't gonna check itself. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> We're getting close to murdering him. And Ember what? Might Sweet. as well. Yeah, grab the Ember. And we definitely want to drop the Razor Scale here because he has a bunch of one <laughs> mana bullshits. Let's make him into two mana. Seems a little bit more appropriate. And Ember has face everything up. face. Yeah. No, I, I just go with more stats on the board here. He can still obviously play out of those, but he can't play as much of them. And he is at Alex's waiting room. Alas, we don't have any more innervates, so she's three turns away. Two, technically, but still. Okay. He already had a cock discounted. That was silly. He hasn't played any cocks, right? Yeah, those guys... Definitely is a cock connoisseur, isn't he? Oh no, it casts two mana. Damn shame. Yeah, the Razor Scale carried nicely here. Razor Scaly boy did its work. Cool. That was all, now wasn't it? He literally had a Ghoulish Alchemist already active. He did not need to play that one. With us? Ain't gonna toss itself. Yep. Golden card back, by the way. For anybody thinking we're playing oh, yeah. actual silver players, you know? Like, so many times people actually yeah. don't understand we're playing against literal top 1000 legend players. Sometimes even top 10 legend players. That golden card back, they don't give it just to anybody, guys. I can tell you that much. That's a pass. We don't want to be throwing our Ashron for a couple of useless dragons. That's a pass. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, golden card back silver player. Mm -hmm. 
As if one does. does. <laughs> yeah, they splash away. Splash. Not a bad mix. Like and subscribe earned. Okay. Turn two, by the way. Turn two, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you spine tail that ass so that uh, at least... Uh, not I mean, there's not really much benefit, but it's not like he's not gonna kill it himself. So yeah, spine tail it and go face. That is as good a turn as he could have hoped for. Technically, he could even have done it on uh, turn 1 if uh, we actually gave him a turn 1 minion. He can literally have uh, the one tree prep, bone spike, and the 4-4, four four, and that literally allows you to drop it as soon as turn 1. It's uh, absurd when going second, though. And he was... Okay, dealt with it pretty efficiently. Sad for us, good for him. Sure. Well, let's crack that aquatic form. See if we can find the five. Not even close. <clears throat> but there is a seven and we have a... Yeah, but we don't even draw with it and this hand is just so bad. Yeah. And Astalor? Astlor is really not gonna do all that much for us either. I think it's Amalgam. Okay. Let's <laughs> Amalgam on the dragon, see where that takes us. The dragon. Well, I guess that dragon going might make a little bit more sense. And uh, maybe we just drop the Asheron Gardens and Hero Power Double Trade the free two. Oh, okay. If we top deck something like Time Lost Proto Drake, next turn we could actually have a meaningful amount of dragons. We haven't had either of them and they're not at the bottom, so 10% chance to top deck one. That'd be neat. We could also top deck Take to the Sky, so that's 20% chance to get something decent. If we don't, if it's just a dragon, I think we coin out the golems and pretend it's enough, but something tells me it ain't. Kills it off like that? That felt like a weird choice. But I guess we could have another Spine Tail Drake for it. No, he saves it. Bullshit. Ah, uh, fucking cactus. Out of all the dragons we could have gotten, we get a fucking cactus. From the cactus? Theoretically. Yeah, but you can't play it. But yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, play the cactus. Hopefully we get something like card draw at least. There you go. Yeah, loot hoarder it loot. is. Play it. Play it and hero power the 1-1 one, one go face with the 2-3. And next turn we should have a meaningful amount of dragons now. It's just crazy uh. enough to work. I'm actually liking our odds with this uh, top deck. It could have also been a gold banner. It could have been a Talno. So plenty of good death rattle minions you could discover. But obviously a lot more bad ones.
Okay, there you go. Now we're cooking. Well, trade the one two first. Okay, even more. That is nothing but dragons, so it's a full board of dragons, potentially if we want it. I think we want it. Trade off the amalgam and play the dragon golem. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> Let's see a golden card, boy. Did you get the golden card bullshit out of that? <laughs> they did, usually didn't do. He? he fucking did, didn't he? Please don't. Just don't. Okay. Other than two damage AoE, he doesn't have that much in terms of board control from that. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever litten these. Litten. What a great word, right? Litten. Mm. <laughs> Englishing at its finest. <clears throat> you know we're short. Yeah. Top deck Calyx, that'd be lethal. Top deck Aquatic, that is also lethal. If my quick map is good enough. Well, that's Alex, but not lethal this turn. Not guaranteed Alex either. Very plausible Alex, however. Pretty sure that this Razor Scale should be a very big kink in his plan. Um, do we care about the Drilly? Kind of don't. So, Razor? Yeah, Razor plus uh, Summer Flower Child and Face. And with this Razor, should be denying him a lot of extra stuff to do. Okay, there she that is, is an Alter Glory. <sighs> Alexis. We found Siri. Oh my goodness. It's one off lethal now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable right there. How the fuck did he set it up like that, man? Jesus, imagine. I guess trading was the right idea. Fucking hell. <laughs> imagine how unimaginative that was. <laughs> Didn't play around. Uh, uh, random defiled. Our bad. My bad, my bad. Well, definitely want to get rid of the free six. Yeah. So I think the zero mana fey plus hero power okay. is enough to get rid of it. Yes. And we can drop the dragon golem as well. Dragon Golem. If we top deck another Innervate, which is not at the bottom three, <coughs> we can actually out. No, we can actually adjust Alex and Amber Whelp next turn, so if he doesn't. Did we miss Lethal? No, we were one mana short no. this turn. If we top deck Innervate, we were enough. But uh, as long yeah, as he but... doesn't heal here, or armor, we can't kill him like that if the board is clear. The power of random bullshit is never to be underestimated, as the walking mountain shows clearly. Yeah. Clearly, yes. guys. It is obvious to the naked eye, random bullshit has not gone unnoticed for this man. There you go. Harder, daddy. <laughs> if he didn't heal, he said arrogantly. If he did not heal, 
<coughs> but heal he did. Heal he did, chat. He was no stranger to healing. He did yeah. all the healing. All of it. Well, another yeah, dragon golem but, surely yeah. is supposed to be enough. Uh, yeah, aquatic it. Dragon golem. Um, is Astlord a better line? Kind of like the Astlord line. Okay. We also have and both take to the skies in the top eleven cards, so. Let's take the Astalore. Okay. Played a four mana Desert Nest Matron. Yes. Astalore has four two in the middle. Yes. Played a five mana Ass as well, so he is prepared for some serious damage next turn. Should we Cactus? I guess we should have done the Cactus before. But uh, yeah. check the Cactus. Check the Cactus. The Cactus. Mm -hmm. Uh, Whelp Wrangler sounds good for extra Dragon Golem later. And Hero Barrow Mouth Mouth. Okay. Uh, Think we're at a good spot, guys. Don't quote me on that one. Nothing a Tess Greyman can't fix, but I think we're at a, good sp at a good spot right there. But damn, where the fuck did that Walking Mountain come from? Uh, the exact same uh, place, uh, Kyle. <laughs> the random bush generator. Not really. The file came out no, of a no. snake. Where the fuck I... did the walking mountain come from? God damn it, the test. <laughs> Goes with good old testicle. Fucking Elman. We got a cactus. His shit. There you go. Okay, he's back to full. That's what it is. Let's see that then. Alright! Fucking hell, man. The yo-yo keeps dangling ever so slightly. Should we start off with an Amber Whelp? There is... 11 on the board, so yeah, I'd be feeling better if we start off with an Amber Whelp. Question is, where do we start off on the nine, on the six five, or on the four four? I think on Tess, like Tess is a lot scarier. Play the left one, though. Left one's bigger. Oh yeah. On the six five and uh, innervate that ass. Astalor, not to be mistaken with Alex Strassalor. <laughs> <coughs> oh, okay, that's gonna give him a snack again. Please kill. There you go. No, there's no snack. Cheat death. Please don't. Which one? Oh my goodness, it gave him the fucking testicle. For fuck's sake, bro. Oh my god. Where did cheat death come from? Didn't it repeat the... F no, it repeated the goddamn hunter. Gave him a random one. Piece of shit. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. The randomest of crap, guys. The randomest <laughs> of crap right there. You have no idea what I'm <laughs> Testicles for days, dudes. Testicles for days. It's amazing. Incredible. His shit. Nice. Well, still gotta deal with the fucking mountain, but he's already full health, so fuck that noise. <coughs> Thanks for the heal, I guess, but it's... Well, that's actually kind of cute, because... God damn it, where the, go where the goddamn take to the skies now? This thing's almost active, by the way. Just the fucking take to the skies left. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Problem is, he's gonna Mega Wind Fury our mouth. Mega Wind yeah. Fury our mouth. The Mega Wind Fury is also always happening in it. Nothing we can do about that. I guess you can play the Azure Drake. Five mana Azure Drake. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 
88 kills the free seven for sure. Yeah, play the Azur Drake. I want to see. I want to see if we draw some shit. Nope. Bullshit nap. Uh, play the one mana Happy Whelp. And. Free, free Amber Whelp, the free one. That's all. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. Uh, no bullshit. Mm -hmm. No more testicles at least, but he's gonna get another scorpion real soon, probably this turn even. We have plotted long Shit. Long. What a game, what a game, by the way. Crap, it's a lot of damage. Astlor still lives at least. Meaning he has to trade it with the 4 6. This is where it hurts. Sure. Seriously, though, the fucking take to the skies, man. Brutal. Brutal. No, no, we just can't recover from this amount of bullshit, dude. Like, seriously, that was un unheard of. Unheard amount of bullshit. That cheat death. The cheat death was the real cheat this game, seriously. The cheat death was something else. Maybe we could have played around the cheat death, but in my mind it was the stupid poison guy. Yep. That was a warrior. Fun E. Full toss. Full. <laughs> uh, show, Azer. Now we're cocking. Oh god. Well, it's acceptable supplementary cards, but where are D cards? That ain't it. Close. Hard pass. Ice, ice baby. Okay, that allows us to make some tempo plays on turn four, but uh, denies us the Your dragon power. golem potential. I mean, you can just put down the ass on the boards. Okay. Showing a little bit of ass always gets the likes, you know? Look at that ass. It's not the only thing. <laughs> mm. Okay, dare I say it, let's see the splish splash. Or at least take to the skies, like something. <laughs> okay, now. Cactus! From the cactus we can get it. Yeah, let's play the Cactopus. Let's see some of that Cactopus action. Whip it. No splish splash. Uh, Coincidence? No. I think not. Flint is kind of cute, but with our luck we're just gonna get a 4 drop next turn anyway, so maybe we should dredge the scar. Yeah. Yeah, let's play it at the scar. Whip them out. There it is. Oh, it is somewhere. Take it. Fuck it. Oh, Place him up. Mm -hmm. One card deeper. Game was telling us to go deeper, but we had no inches left to give, guys. We had no one inches card left to give. Deeper one card. Uh, Balls were hitting the rims, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's some kind of enrage abomination. 
Could be good old Enrage, Odin Warrior. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we do? do or we? he has roll five. Uh. I think you just splish splash hero power. I was okay. thinking about some uh, Dazzle Nice Matron fantasies, but if we do that, the Dragon Golems never come and. I don't want to live True. in a world like that. True. True. Well, he's control, and much has been said. Perhaps, perhaps, Ray. Or was it always like this? Well, um. uh, that's a very small dragon golem, but I guess with a summer flower child it's gonna get bigger. We are losing the discount if we don't coin out a hero power here, but honestly, is that really worth it? I guess we're discounting twice, so there's that. It's also extra hero yeah. power, and what are we saving this innervate for? I guess if you top deck something like... No, I think it's only benefits. So, uh, hero power coin, summer flower in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm think? not that deep in the house music uh, genres. I don't really uh, make too much difference between them. Um, I don't know, like. It's just house music. <laughs> I'm not a house music connoisseur. I'm just a pleb enjoying it. Okay. Would be a damn shame if we have a dragon golem. Why the fuck did he play that if he's expecting us the dragon golem right now, guys? Is he drugs? Or he has... Bladestorm. Or Bladestorm, yes. If we play an Estimator, and after that, the... yeah, no. The same board? Mm -hmm. Ah! I thought they have friend. Sorry. How much dragons do we have as is? Two, four, six, seven as is. If we slash it down to only four, potentially five off the top. Let's play a couple of Desert Nest Matrons and the seven man and a Stormwind in the middle. We made an Asdormu deck, that's all. Yes. <laughs> Good old cock and ball. <laughs> yeah. Gonna be able to clear the whole thing. Sad mm -hmm. Oh I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's maybe just ask the Lord Hero Power Face. Next turn we can drag and Golem and Amalgam and that way at least he's gonna have to have a bash for it too.
Well, I think I'm somewhere in the middle, DJ. I do like them good beat drops. But, uh... Don't want it to be super, uh... Super brutal, you know? I want it to be a good thing to, to listen on the stream, you know? I want it to be chill enough for the stream to enjoy while still having some bangers in, you know? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the sweet spot. Don't want to scare people off, you know? Don't want some of that Skrillex action. Personally, I kind of enjoy it, but it can get on your nerves. That's definitely Highlander-ish. Maybe even full-on Highlander, but... Could just have a few copies. Shit. Well, even if he did have Blaze Storm, he shouldn't anymore. Question is, is he gonna get Reno and is it active? Yeah, Dragon Golem and Amalgam after. Azure, three. It's either that or the Amalgam, it actually has quite a few tracks okay. played already. Hmm. Amalgam. I guess the Amalgam is a bit bigger. Job done. That's about it. We are listening to our very own DJ Hooker right now, guys. Give him a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It ain't gonna subscribe itself. Okay. He might have tried to snipe off the 2 3 here for a Blaze Storm to work. For all we know. God damn it, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of bitches. Fucking hell. Seriously. Let's put down Faye, and after that, Amalgam, see where that takes us. On Faye. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. <laughs> uh, Malagos also makes some sense. But it's too expensive anyway, so maybe it's still primordial, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, grab the primordial. Play the primordial. Yep. How should we make them trades? I guess the 410 can uh, rush the 4 1 and you can go face. Oh, for show DJ. That blaze storm off the top, by the way. He did play double trail by fire, so like I said, he's not full on Reno. Que <laughs> Okay. 
This is looking mighty bad. Mighty bad. Rush Wind Fury Poison is a possibility for this one Amalgam Band. But we all know it ain't happening. Uh, anything <laughs> else feels dumb though. I don't know. Um, Try the Amalgam, I guess, but this is looking downhill. Not even close. Didn't even give you a chance. Just Hero Parapass. I guess it can stick. That's a lot of damage. We are gonna heal back plenty. Let's play Asheron Garden. Uh, Asheron Garden. And sadly, we're one off killing the. Kazgaroth, with the help of Spinetail Drake and the 6 6 killing itself into it, but we can still do it with something like Alex, I guess. So, yeah, I think you, Alex, into the 412 and Win 3 into the taunt and into the big guy. But uh, I don't see us ever winning this one with Odin in play already. We can play it out, but it doesn't feel like it's getting there. Okay, was just god awful today, huh? Are we dead? Feel dead. Yeah. yeah, we are. Bottom right. Oh well, game literally spat in our face today. Without a pardon. <laughs> a pardon was lacking. Yeah. Vigorously. Oh well. Sometimes it just goes to show, guys. No matter, no matter uh, how well you're playing, sometimes the game just doesn't want you to climb. And if if you uh, if you don't see these happening, even to to somebody like me, like. Uh, Legend, top legend player since, uh, what, five years straight now? You're just gonna feel like you're always in the misplay. So it's really important to really ask yourself, did I actually misplay or was the game just not favoring me today? And alas, it was the ladder for us today. The ladder was the ladder for us today, now wasn't it?